Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking a little bit about the effects of getting floxed by antibiotics. In my case, ciprofloxacin and my experience six months later. So, I had a pec tear through almost three years ago now, had three surgeries and it got really badly infected. Now, the issue here was, was the suture anchors in there, but I was given these very strong antibiotics called ciprofloxacin, which is a fluoroquinolone antibiotic. These are some of the strongest antibiotics out there and it wrecked havoc on my body. Now you might have seen my previous video talking a little bit about my experience with this, but I want to talk about how I feel now six months later and how I'm still feeling the effects, unfortunately, of that ciprofloxacin. And hopefully I won't be feeling it for my whole life, but the biggest thing that I've noticed after taking the ciprofloxacin, so the first few days after taking it, I felt like I was really old. I was hobbling around walking really slowly because the pain was just so high in my knees and my ankles. And unfortunately, the pain is still there in my ankles. My knees have gotten better, but the ankles are still taking a big hit. Now, I see a lot of news out there about people getting Achilles tendon tears from this antibiotic, and thankfully that hasn't happened to me, but, <laughs> but... I was doing a lot of walking around um, a little while ago and I was getting Achilles tendonitis extremely badly and there was nothing really I, I, anything I could do about it because I was required to have to go walking a lot in, um, in what I was doing. So um, yeah, it, the antibiotics is likely the cause for me having that Achilles tendonitis so easily. After a couple days of walking, like my joints were creaking in the ankle, like when I walked, like, er, 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 and like, I could feel something really was off. Now, normally, like, I'm someone who used to go for runs all the time, and I can't even go for a run now. Like, the pain is just too high in my ankles, and I'm someone who was very active. Like, I tore my, I had my injury in the gym doing heavy lifting. I loved going for runs. I loved doing Olympic weightlifting. I can't do any of that now. And the simple floxacin keeps me from even doing simple things like going for a run, which is, you know, something I, I guess I've been taking for granted because I really want to go for a run, but my ankles will not let me. The pain is just too high. The problem is in my ankle, in the Achilles, more so than anywhere else in my ankle, the front of my ankle has constant pain, but it's the back that really freaks me out because it gets really stiff and it just feels like something's going to snap. And that scares me because I, an Achilles tear is probably one of the scariest injuries of all time. But yeah, I am unfortunately still feeling the effects of being floxed by ciprofloxacin. It's terrible. I, I really regret taking it, but I didn't know any better. I didn't know the effects. Like I took this, I wasn't warned at the pharmacy. I was just told to take this and it's gonna help out with my infection. And then I found after taking it that my body was starting to like literally shut down. I was, couldn't walk up or down stairs. Like I was in the mass, the biggest amount of pain in my life. And like my surgery was upper body. And then my ankles were hurting and my lower body was really hurting. So that's when I looked into it. And yeah, I guess there is a lot of issues with this antibiotic. So this isn't medical advice by any means. I'm just talking about my experience. But be wary of that antibiotic because it can really do some damage. It's six months later now and I still can't do some of the things that I loved to do before I ever took this. So yeah, take, <laughs> take my word, I guess, with a grain of salt. Like you might be fine taking it, but I... I'm going through it still so yeah I hope this video is a little bit useful if you're currently going through this or know someone who is like definitely take care of them it's not a good time to go through all this and hopefully the effects won't be as long lasting as they are for me so yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video